for the last two months, we have been completely renovating the interior of this home for my brother and sister-in-law, and we've been filming and sharing the entire process. Now, after a very busy eight weeks, we completely finished this renovation just in time to reveal it to the new couple when they got back from their honeymoon. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing their main bathroom makeover, so you'll get to see this bathroom transform from start to finish. Stay tuned until the end of this video to see the completed bathroom and to see the drastic before and afters. So the first step was demo day, removing everything out of this bathroom. And here you're getting to see Jalen demo out this shower. He ended up just using his oscillating tool and just cutting this tile into large sections that he could carry out of the bathroom. The final step on demo day was to remove the red tile flooring. Jalen used a crowbar and a scraper to get all of this tile popped up off the floor and then I came in with the shovel and the wheelbarrow, got everything cleaned up and then used the shop vac to finish cleaning the floor and now the bathroom demo is complete and now the shower tile can start to be installed. We hired a contractor to install the tile in the shower so he was working on that while we were working on the rest of the house. He was back here installing concrete board and pouring a concrete slab for the floor and everything. We went into Lowe's to shop for tiles and we were looking for large dark tiles for the walls and then wasn't quite sure what I was doing on the flooring yet, but we were just going to shop around and see what they had. We were trying to shop on a budget, so trying to find tiles that were affordable but yet would look beautiful in this bathroom. Contractor's been down here the last week working on the shower. He got all of the concrete board installed and he cut out a little niche over here on the left hand side and he's been pouring the concrete for the floor. This is a little peek at our floor tile. We just went with this charcoal colored penny tile and then the tile on the back wall is these large pieces of this blackish gray tile that's got like the white veining in it and I think it just goes with their style really well. So really excited to see how this turns out and I also ordered the vanities this week. Those are coming from Willow Bath Vanity in Georgia so it'll probably take them a little while to get here but I cannot wait to see what they look like in these bathrooms because they are so beautiful. I'll put a little sneak peek up here on the screen but I'm actually doing a green vanity here in this bathroom and then in the other bathroom it will be a wood vanity with like a darker countertop kind of like this tile so he has all of this tile installed it turned out amazing i really love how this shower looks and we just have to add the glass sliding door and then flooring and a vanity So the contractor finished up the shower while we were in Indiana at the wedding and he offered to go ahead and install the shower door as well. We were going to do that ourselves, but we told him just go ahead and install the shower door. We were on such a time crunch and didn't know if we were going to be able to get everything done in time. So that was really helpful to come home to the shower door being installed. And this shower door is from Vigo Industries. It's actually the exact same shower door that we have in our bathroom at our house. And we also put one of these in that flip house that we did back in 2022 
Really love these doors. They're such good quality, but yet a nice, simple glass sliding door that you can easily install yourself. They do have this door in several different finishes and sizes. We went with the matte black. They do have gold and chrome, silver. A big thank you to Vigo for sending us this shower door for their house. It was really awesome to be able to bless my brother and sister-in-law with this beautiful shower door for their bathroom. been working on all of the doors in the house getting those cut to size and painted and everything and we were also painting the door frames and the trim around the door and now we were installing these doors and we added new matte black hinges and a new matte black door handle once the door was installed the next step in this bathroom was to install flooring so Jalen was getting the floor prepped he had to take his oscillating tool and just clear out the rest of the grout that was stuck underneath the wall and then I vacuumed everything Thing with the shop vac the floor needs to be completely clean before you can install flooring and we just ended up using the same flooring that we used in the rest of the house and that was this beautiful flooring from Florette it is hundred percent waterproof so perfect for a bathroom it was this beautiful darker color it just added some warmth to the space and went well with the dark tiles and the green vanity stay tuned to see it all come together in the end I forgot to say earlier Jalen did spray the these walls the same time that he was spraying the rest of the house and these walls were painted the same color as the rest of the house which was pale oak by Benjamin Moore and then the ceiling was just a flat white ceiling paint Okay, the vanities for both bathrooms have arrived from Willow Bath and Vanity in Georgia. These vanities are so beautiful. They were very heavy, good quality, and because they were so heavy, they did have to unbox the one for the main bathroom just so that it would be a little bit easier to carry. This vanity is made out of birch wood and plywood, so there is no MDF or press board at all. We were just highly impressed by the quality of this vanity and how beautiful it was. It has soft closed drawers and doors. This vanity is part of their Alley's Bathroom Vanity Collection and they had three different colors to pick from. You can also pick like which side you want the drawers to be on and everything. And I chose for the drawers to be on the left-hand side. We did a single sink and I chose the pewter green color. It was the perfect color for this bathroom because I did a pewter green accent wall in their bedroom. And so now the bedroom and the bathroom kind of tie together. And when you're standing at the vanity, you can see directly into that accent wall. And it all just came together perfectly. Really love the gold hardware. And I think that I ended up choosing the straight Carrera quartz countertop. They do have several different countertop options to pick from but I went with a lighter white quartz just because we do have the dark tile in the shower. We have the dark floor, the dark vanity. So I wanted the countertop to be a little bit lighter.
I love the fluted design on the front of this vanity. It's just so beautiful. And what was really cool is that it has plugins and USB ports inside of one of the drawers for you to charge your devices and like plug in your hair dryer and your curling iron. Just a lot of neat features. If you're looking for a high quality, beautiful bathroom vanity, definitely go and check out Willow Bath and Vanity. I'll have the link down below. So now Jalen is installing this towel rack and this is a very narrow, smaller bathroom. And so it was difficult to figure out where we were going to put a towel rack or just some towel hooks. We didn't really want to have them hanging over the toilet and the only other option was here under the window, which did actually end up working out perfectly. So once he gets this towel rack hung up, then we are going to install the mirror and I found this mirror a few days previously when I was shopping for everything that I would need for the house and I wish that I would have gotten a mirror that was a little bit taller but it's fine it works out great and I love that it's not just a square mirror it has the rounded top and best of all it was a great price. went with kind of a woodsy theme for their bedroom so I wanted to bring a touch of that into their bathroom and Jalen's brother had a collection of antler sheds that we were using to decorate around the house and so we took this small one to attach to the wall here for a towel hook. We really love how this turned out. It just gave a unique touch to the bathroom and all of these hand towels and towels I found at Home Goods. Usually Home Goods has a great selection of towels that have really pretty prints and colors and designs and usually very good prices for towels and washcloths and hand towels. had bought these two wooden shelves at Hobby Lobby and they were 50% off so only about 10 or 12 dollars a piece I think. I thought I would save Jalen some time and buy shelves that way he wouldn't have to build shelves but these ended up being a real pain and were kind of a fail. The shelf was supposed to slide onto these metal rods but the shelf was hanging. You could wiggle it up and down. It was not sturdy at all so he had to saw off the back of the shelves, build his own braces out of two by fours to attach these to the the wall so it ended up being a bit of a process but now they are very sturdy and definitely not going anywhere. We found this matte black faucet that included the drain on Amazon for only $40, which was a really good price for such a good quality faucet that included the drain and everything that you'd need. So we were happy about that and it looks beautiful here on the countertop. These bathroom accessories were also from Home Goods. I thought this little jar with the wooden lid was really cute and then also got that soap dispenser as well. And then I couldn't pass up this really cute little I love you sign from Hobby Lobby. It was 50% off and Hobby Lobby was also having a huge sale on all of their little faux plants. So these were marked down to 75% off. I got this little plant for only $2 and quite a few other plants for the house as well. I'm adding this hanging faux plant to the top shelf. This is from Nearly Natural and I wanted to do faux plants. That way she didn't have to worry about taking care of plants right away when they got home. And since I was doing that woodsy theme in the bedroom I kind of wanted to pull that into the bathroom and just have a lot of greenery hanging down whether it was on the shelf or hanging over by the shower just to kind of give you that outdoor feeling. It's 
time for the best part of the video, which is the before and afters of this bathroom. Hope that you enjoyed this complete bathroom makeover and just seeing the entire transformation from start to finish and everything that went into this whole process let us know down below in the comments what you think of the finished bathroom and stay tuned because we've got a lot more room makeovers coming up here in the near future we still have the final kitchen makeover video the dining room makeover living room one more bathroom and then I will show you the entire house so be sure that you're subscribed with the notification bell turned on so that you don't miss those upcoming videos also you can head over and follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes and I try to share daily content over there as well thank you all so much for watching and supporting my channel we appreciate each of you so much it's because of all of you watching and the amazing companies that we partner with in today's video that we were able to bless my brother-in-law and sister-in-law with this amazing bathroom. So a huge thank you to all of you and those amazing companies. And we will see you next week on Tuesday with a new video. Bye.